Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 639. If you're writing a book or thinking about it or trying to finish a book you've started writing, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, especially social media, look for Christine Inc. Like that stuff we write with. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn someone who sorta, kinda, maybe sorta, (laughs) sees themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. Commitment is the igniter of momentum. Peg Wood. And once again, good morning, everyone. Hope your Monday is shaping up. I think that's what the TV meteorologists always say, shaping up. Our days are always supposed to be shaping up, not shaping down. (laughs) Anyway, today's Mindset Monday message is, if you never completely leave, it's much easier to come back. And yes, of course, I'm talking about your book project. If you never completely cut ties with it, What I like to call, especially with my book coaching clients, the energetic connection or the energetic bond between you and your book. Now, to be clear, I'm not against taking breaks or resting or recharging your creative brain, all those good things that we absolutely need, especially as creative people. No, my message today is about, really, it's about that energetic connection with your book that I was just talking about. Think of it as, I'd like to imagine it as a bright, electrified, kind of umbilical cord connecting you with your book no matter what stage your book is in, whether it's an idea or it's an actual manuscript in progress. This cord, I like to imagine, is lit up by any time you spend working on your book, but it also gets power every time you simply think about your book or brainstorm or ponder or mull over or jot down notes or kind of daydream while you're doing housework. Anytime you think about your book, that's what lights up the cord. Really, anything you do where you remind yourself that you are, in fact, an author and you do, in fact, have a book in progress because the moment you decide and make the decision that you are going to write a book, even if you're foggy about the exact details of the book, if you have a general idea of what you're going to write about, guess what? You're about to become an author. So that's the energetic connection I'm talking about. If you never let that connection fizzle or burn out or completely go dead, that energy you're directing toward your book it'll be much easier to keep moving the project forward. So here's an example of what I mean. Imagine you've committed to working on your book once a week or maybe even once a month. And in between, you just completely push it out of your head. You completely disconnect from it. You push it out of your mind. Think of how much more challenging it will be when you do finally sit down to power up all that book energy to get that umbilical cord glowing again from zero, to start from zero, to dust off that part of your brain and get your book in motion again. It's like the flywheel that the author of the book, Good to Great, Jim Collins, talked about, or the boulder being pushed up the mountain, or just insert your favorite analogy here about going from zero to 60 rather than like maybe 55 to 60. Keep the energetic connection with your book alive, and you will find that your actual writing sessions will be all the more painless, and ultimately more successful. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And please drop by my Inc. Authors group on Facebook for motivation, accountability, book writing, publishing resources, and more. And I will drop a link in the show notes as always. Until tomorrow, happy writing.